we're going to be taking a look at this strategy using the 15 minute time frame and this strategy that i'm about to show you guys you can use this strategy to get to 50 pips a day and this strategy actually works on all pairs actually it works on all pairs but to use this strategy and if you're trying to get 50 pips a day i recommend using this strategy on gbp pairs and those gbp pairs are gbp jpy gbp usd and gbp aud i found out that using these three gbp pairs is very easy to get 50 pips a day scalping and using this strategy but sometimes that doesn't mean if the market gives you 20 pips that doesn't mean you don't take it so if you're scalping using this strategy and the market eventually gives you 20 pips just take it and call it a day and then come back the next day and then keep using this strategy just because i'm showing you this strategy and i'm telling you guys that you can actually use this strategy to get 50 pips a day sometimes you might not get 50 pips you might only get 20 pips or 30 pips that's why i always recommend you should always move your stop loss and always fill your stop loss so that if the market gives you 20 pips and if the market eventually reverses and hits your stop loss that means you eventually lost that trade but actually you wouldn't have lost that trade if you had moved your stop loss to entry price and even take partial profit as well that way that trade will just be a break even trade so i'm going to be showing you this strategy and you can use it to make 50 pips a day because most of the time especially if you're using this strategy on those three gpp pairs that i that i told you guys then most of the time you're definitely going to be able to get 50 pips a day now but before we get into this strategy so if you guys want access to my signals on discord the link is going to be down below in the description all you have to do is to, ju is to just click the link down below in the description and you guys will definitely get access so now for this strategy we're going to be using two indicators that's all we're going to be doing for this strategy and the first one we're going to add is the party party trading session and the third one the second one is going to be simple moving average now to use this indicator to add it onto your chart you go here to indicators and you simply search for simple simple moving averages simple moving averages and it's going to be this first one here developed by stocks inbox once you have it on your chart you exit and you go to settings you go to settings and for this one the first one that says sma number one that's all you need you change that to 25 and then you go to style you check the first sma and the rest of them you uncheck everything else you only need the first one which is going to be 25 sma and i have my color set to green and my second color set to red once you're done you click on ok the second one is going to be the trading session you only need to check new york session for the style and for the input you have your new york session checked and your time zone might be different from that from mine so you have to figure out your own time zone when new york session opens once you're done you click on ok now i'll be showing you two examples i'm going to make sure this video isn't too long at all i'm just going to go right straight to the point so now this gray background here you guys are looking at this looking at this is the new york session the white background consists of the asian session and the london session but our main focus is to only trade during the new york session so if you're watching this and you love scalping during new york session 
you can this this scalping strategy is definitely for you now what we need to focus on here for example if we want to get in this buy position now what we need to focus on is to figure out our previous high since we're going to be looking to get in a buy position now all we have to do is to figure out our previous high looking at this white background which is the asian session and the london session and here this was our high for the asian session and the london session so this was our, our high right over here now now that we have our high figured out we have we've noticed we've identified our high now what we're waiting for is we need this simple moving average we need it to turn green once we have that confirmation now we're waiting for price to break and close above our previous high or you can call it above our previous resistance so now let's just put this in replay mode and let me show you guys where our entry would have been if we trying to take this trade so let's take a look here so we can see we have the simple moving average the simple moving average turned green here now we have our confirmation and we have price broke above our previous high above our previous resistance now you can see we have this background change now this is now new york open now we can actually have our entry right here we can have our entry right here at this candle and i usually target 30 pips as my stop loss so we can have our stop loss for 30 pips so we can have our stop loss right there for 30 pips and when it comes to our take profit zone all i have to do is to figure out where my previous high is looking at the previous asia and london session and i see that i could potentially target this zone here because i always say this all the time we trading from zones to zones that's all we're doing so we have our take profit target here so now we have our take profit target right over here we try to target 53 pips here so let's just say we're trying to target 50 pips stop loss 30 pips now let's see how this trade eventually played out bang right there as you can see we got our take profit smashed for 50 pips stop loss 30 pips risk reward ratio 1 to 7 so guys this is how you use this strategy to take a buy position now let me show you guys how you can use this strategy to get into a sell position so let's see here uh, let's see here let's see let's see let's see an example here okay let me delete all this now if we take a look at this cell if we take a look at this cell here now to get into this cell what we need to do is to figure out our previous high and our previous low because we're going to be focusing on the new york session and if we look here to the left we can see that this was our previous low during the previous asian and london session so we have our previous low here now we've now we've identified our previous low so what we're going to do now is to wait for a simple moving average we need to make sure it's red and we need price to close below our previous low meaning to close below our previous support zone now let's put this in replay mode as well and i'm going to show you guys where 
our entry will be for this position so let's see here now we have this bearish engulfing candle close below our support zone now we could potentially we could definitely have our entry right over here we could say we have our entry right here and in this case we just target 30 pips we target 30 pips and if we look here to the left hand side we also have this zone here we could mark this zone here as well and we will see that price actually broke both zones looking at this right over here to the left hand side now we have our entry right there now for us to have our take profit target all we have to do is to look to the left hand side to see where our potential take profit target is going to be so um, that's all we have to do right now so we just gotta look for a potential take profit target here this is exactly what you guys have to do when you're trying to look for a potential take profit target now we have right here all we have to do here is to look for a potential take profit target and if we look at this here we could potentially target this zone over here we could target this zone here so we could have this zone here and we could potentially target this zone over here as well and we'll take a look and see how many pips this is how many potential take profit target we can get using this strategy so we're going to see if we're going to have 50 pips as our take profit target now we have two potential take profit target for this sell position that's what we're looking at right now you just got to you know drag this all the way because you always have to look to your left hand side to look for a potential take profit target so now now we could have let me zoom this a little bit so now we have the potential take profit target that we can target for this sell position so we have we're looking at for this trade we're looking at 40 pips here that's why i told you guys in some cases you might not be able to get 50 pips so always get whatever the market gives you so if the market gives you 20 pips or 30 pips just take it and then come back the next day now we have our stop loss here for 30 pips and our potential take profit target for 40 pips now let's see how this trade played out let's see if we got um sorry about that guys let's see what happens here bam we got our take profit target here for 40 pips and even though our take profit target was for 40 pips if you take a look at this here we'll be looking at, if we drag this all the way we can see that eventually we actually got 50 pips but that's okay even getting 40 pips that's all good at the end of the day you got you you you, you got a winner and you out of the trade and then you come back the next day and you continue using this strategy and like i told you guys earlier this strategy works on all pairs as long as you use it like this you need to figure out your highs and your lows looking looking to your left hand side and that means you're going to be looking at the asian session and the london session that's all you're going to be doing so guys this is exactly how you use this strategy to take a buy position and a sell position so if this is your first time on my channel all i ask is that you give this video a thumbs up 
smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future videos thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys at the top because the bottom is way too crowded god bless you all peace and love